Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. You would be hard-pressed to find an ancient culture that didn't have somewhere in its history a religious veneration of the bull. The Minoans, the Egyptians, even India, all ancient cultures. In fact, the Atlantean culture was very much tied to the worship of what they called the bull cult. Now, there are a couple of locations in Antarctica where we have revealed images that look very much like this. However, there's an article out, came out a couple days ago, about a recent discovery in Egypt. And looking into it, it actually, the location of where they found these uh, sarcophagi ties in to this particular phenomenon. And I'd like to share that with you today. Now, what a lot of people don't um, or aren't aware of, and you wouldn't necessarily think it, different cultures had different names for the same god. The Eye of Horus, for example, the god Horus was associated with a hawk, having the head of a hawk. But the third eye of Shiva, the destroyer, was associated with this same thing. So they were two cultures worshipping the same god. Shiva, however, was always seen as coming to power riding on a bull, a great white bull. Now, this is important for today's discussion because the two things, a hawk and a bull, wouldn't, wouldn't really tie the two together, are really talking about the exact same thing, Shiva and Horus. Now, what are those articles? Egypt unearths 3,000-year-old tomb with sarcophagus dedicated to Horus, god of the sky. Now, remember, Horus and Shiva are the same God, just worshipped by two different cultures. And here in this article, they actually give the location. This was actually a little bit more difficult to find. <clears throat> Pardon me. 
Anyway, Egypt's Antiquities Ministry announced the discoveries of, in the village of Tuna al-Gabal. That's where we're going to start today, near the Nile Valley city of Minya in central Egypt. Now, before we go there real quick, I wanted to show you guys something. This is from Antarctica. We found this a long time ago. This is some kind of a platformed entry where there are what look like two giant bullhorns in front of it. Also, many of you are familiar with this as well, we found. What appears to be two figures and on the ice they have used some type of technique to create the image of a bull, and not just any bull, a bull that looks like it's being sacrificed, because as you can see, out of the side here, it looks like they have either, they've stabbed it or impaled it with something. And this is something that has been done, you know, bullfighting goes back thousands and thousands of years, where they do this exact thing, they bring the bull into the arena, and then they do all this stuff, but they always end up killing him. Now the location that we're talking about today, lines up with all of this. Let me get the uh, the globe flipped around here. If you take a line from the Stargate down here and you draw that line all the way up to this place called Tuna al-Jabal, guess what you find? Out here in this desert where you have to irrigate everything to make it grow, that doesn't seem to apply here. We find this stand of trees growing thick as any jungle in South America in the shape of a pentagon. Why? I don't know. But once again, this is the location where they have unearthed all of these mummies dedicated to Horus Shiva. Now, my naysayers, Everybody says, yes, of course, you can draw a straight line between any two points. That's true. It's when you add that third point, that wit, that's when things get a little bit, you know, less likely. If you continue that straight line northward through the desert, guess where you end up? This is a place that I hadn't really had the time to look into yet, but it was a place where two other lines crossed. Part of the northern network coming from the Temple Mount all the way up to this island called La Serpentona over here. That was one line. The other line that crosses here comes from Patmos, the place where John from the Bible saw all of his visions. And that one goes to the Pentagon that we found in Namibia. We have a third line that lines up here now. And I didn't know this at the time, or I would have looked more into it. Guess what's here, just outside of Satya? This is a Minoan palace, the remnants of a palace of the Minoans. And what do we know about the Minoans? The Minoans also worshipped the bull. So all this lines up. There is some little bit of drift. I really think this has more to do with my inaccuracy in drawing the lines or maybe just a small amount of continental drift over the years. That these locations, and when you look at it in the global perspective, I mean, not even really. You only have to zoom out to, what is this, high altitude, about 400 miles, to see this, that these are right on top of each other. We have the Minoan palace. Minoans worshipped the bull. We have this uncovering of all of these sacred objects at Tuna al-Jabal in Egypt, where coincidentally, what do we find? Another pentagon. And if we draw that line, and we go straight through Madagascar, right past the... And I tell you what, we're going to find something down here in this French, Southern, and Antarctic Islands, and Hurt Islands, eventually. It takes you straight down to the Stargate.
there are so many other things that, that tie in. Like, for example, if you take uh, that location where we found the um, people creating the image of the bull, it draws almost directly through the Stargate, that line, and ends up someplace that we've been before. These are the, the paracels. This is the South, uh, South China Sea Islands that they're creating that are directly opposite of Polo Norte in Brazil. It really makes me wonder if at one time North was actually someplace very different. If our entire globe wasn't canted differently and spun on a different axis. And if perhaps maybe the Chinese have realized this. I still say, and I stand by this, that what's going on in China right now, they dug something up. Well, maybe not dug, but they netted something up <clears throat> down in Antarctica. And they brought it back to that fish market in Wuhan. And that's what started all this. Because the Chinese are clamoring for all sorts of different exotic things from around the world. That's just their culture. They eat things raw. They eat things that we wouldn't even consider touching with a 10-foot pole. I don't know if any of you remember the um, years and years and years ago when you took driver's education, they showed these things called faces of death. They were these sicko videos of um, car accidents and other weirdness from around the world. And what they did, they were trying to scare, basically, drivers into driving better because they would show the graphic, gory, horrible, you know, right after the accident, you know, corpses. But part of it was this international um, thing that went on where they would eat live monkeys. And they showed this, and I pray you probably can't find it anymore, where they took this poor live monkey and they put him in this specially designed table. And there was only a hole in the center of the table for its head to stick out. And it was trapped in there. And they cut open the head of the monkey and they ate the brain out of the thing alive. I kid you not, I remember it. It was one of those damaging times in your life when you're 15 years old and you're watching something like this, and I was like, people really do this? So mark my words, that's where this came from. And for also, for those of you that have looked at the Pentagon Network and said, that doesn't really look like anything remotely um, organized, neither really is our um, air network. This is a layout of the flights that go across the United States. Some future civilization looking at us after we've long passed, if they found evidence of this, would be like, there's no rhyme or reason to this. They've got a whole bunch of airports over here on the East Coast. They have literally none out here in the Mountain West. And they have more way out here on the end. And they've got some down here on this little isthmus. You know, it, it really wouldn't make any sense. The layout of the airports of the world. Especially if we do one of these magnetic global flip things. They won't understand North any more than we understand what the Minoans were doing or what the Mycenaeans were doing or any of these other ancient cultures. But I truly believe what Plato found was not unique, meaning that he found a city that was based off of a culture that was located in Antarctica. And they took that technology and they spread it around the world. I don't think it's an either-or thing. That thing they found in the Eye of Africa might just be another piece of evidence. The things they found off the coast of Spain, in the Mediterranean, even in um, the Caribbean. This is an island, this is Barbuda. And they have found evidence on the seafloor out here of this exact same thing. I don't think it's a one or the other thing. Or that even, you know, to find the one place that Plato saw or Plato visited, 
I don't think is, it wasn't the home base. Let's put it that way. It was just like our cities. The vast majority of our cities are laid out the same way. This was the logic of the time to the Atlanteans or the Minoans or whoever. And our logic is different based on us getting around in a different way. So anyway, I guess I will just leave that there. Um, the Minoans, the Mycenaeans, this location in uh, Egypt now, all tie together. This cult of the bull, Atlantis, it's all coming together. And the more melt that happens in Antarctica, the better. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one US dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Chris and Kane. Isn't the Landesite off-world, sir?